Hi, I'm Jonas Lund. On the second week of January, I'm setting up a propaganda office at the Photographer's Gallery in London. The office is called Operation Earnest Voice and it takes its title from a US-sponsored propaganda office slash troll farm, whose purpose is to spread pro-American propaganda online in a lot of different forms using a wide range of strategies. One of the key elements is they use sock puppets with fake identities basically to spread fake news. Russia has one it's called the Internet Research Agency and, the, and China has one called the 50 Cent Party. Adrian Chan wrote a piece in the New York Times from 2015 about the Russian one, which is a fascinating read where you can follow the life of one of the workers for a day. Basically, you show up at work in the morning, you have a list of tasks that you have to execute, uh, commenting on specific Guardian articles, deriling a conversation online with the purpose of sort of swaying or influencing the public opinion. Propaganda Office, Operation Earnest Voice, that will open on the second week of January at the Photographer's Gallery will use similar strategies and similar sort of approach to try and sway and influence the public opinion with one ultimate goal in mind and that's to cancel or reverse Brexit. I'm looking for 12 workers to join me in developing this uh, ad campaign slash media narrative. I'm looking for anybody who has expertise in any of the fields, whether that's programmers or hackers, ad experts, Twitter addicts, trolls, meme makers, former Cambridge Analytica employees, people who worked for the Trump campaign and switched sides, photographers, designers, videographers, politicians, celebrities. If you think you are one of these people who can help out, definitely visit the website below operationearnestvoice.co.uk to fill in a very brief application form with ask for your name and email and a short biography or a short bio of who you are and in the larger context of this it's inherently unfair the current situation our parents generation or the older generation which constitutes the vast majority of politicians little by little ruining the world we are the ones who have to sort of take the results of a failing political system we need we need to be able to do something about it otherwise it, there won't be a world left basically if we can accomplished to reverse Brexit, we can continue this onwards and then actually start to change the world how we want it to be, not what politicians want it to be. Because they won't be around when the proper consequences come, so it's like time to do something about it right now. The tools that were used by these state-sponsored propaganda offices used to be reserved for states because of the cost and distribution possibilities that existed with traditional media. This has since a while been changed and it's completely democratized and we have the opportunities and the possibilities to use these tools for ourselves. Of course it's a financial discrepancy. Operation Earnest Voice, the US sponsored propaganda office, had an operating budget of around three million dollars which isn't a crazy amount of money. The propaganda office staged at the photographer's gallery will have a significantly smaller budget but the tools are available to us too. They've been democratized. We can use similar strategies to engineer consent, complete a range of computational politics from modeling, using algorithms to deploy, distribute messages, quantification, and in particular, the data-driven iterative process where you see, where you see very quickly if something works or it doesn't. Ultimately, it will come down to creating a complete outrageous narrative that's just impossible to ignore. Visit the website operationearnestvoice.co.uk to find out more information about the forthcoming propaganda office. Thank you.